Okay, what a like douche. So much. What a douche. Yeah, I do. Is Drunken High Trevor in the building? Drunken High Trevor is not in the building yet. No. Slightly drunk. Sure sounded like it for a little Drunken bit. Hi, Trevor. Thank you for calling Cinemark Movies. Hey, how may I help you? Hi, this Hello? is Jonathan. Uh, hi, this is Jonathan. I'm calling from the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America. Uh-huh. Hello. I mean, sorry. Yes. yes. Can you can you hear me there? I can. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. Um, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. My name is, is, is uh, Jonathan. I'm calling from the MPAA. I didn't catch your I didn't catch your name. My name's Lonnie. I'm sorry, Lonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie. B O N N Y. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going. Mark that down in my notes here. I have a uh, a memo here from our, uh, our 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 legal team stating that you guys have been shipped an unauthorized copy of Puss in Boots. Um, I'm actually not sure about that. Can I put you on hold and uh, maybe have you talk to a manager? Yes, that that would be acceptable. Thank you, Bonnie. Uh huh. And that's why I love monkeys. Monkeys are awesome. Until they eat your face and hands. And they're really fun. (laughs) (laughs) That bitch got a new face put on the other day. It's weird looking. She deserves it for being so stupid. Well, I'm like, why do you even care about a new face? If you fucking, like, if you don't have eyes, what do you give a shit? <laughs> you have a point. Like, I would, really I would, point. I would just, I just, I just want to be a fucking horrible no face monster and just saying fuck the world, but I don't even have a middle finger. All the broad has is one thumb. Whoa. Yellow. Yellow. Kyle, shut the fuck up. Kyle, no squawking. (laughs) Uh, God, how long does it take this manager? Hey, I got an idea. Let's see. Uh-oh. Hey, Eric, is Eric speaking? Not gonna help you. Uh, hi, Eric. My name is Jonathan. I'm calling from the MPAA, the Motion Picture Association of America. Uh, I was just speaking with Hi. I was just speaking with Bonnie a moment ago. Did she relate to you the the, the situation that we're having there? No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't heard. Okay. Well, I recently I just got a fax about five minutes ago from our legal team stating that the copy of Puss in Boots that was shipped to your uh, theater there is an unauthorized pirated copy. Are, are, really? Are you is aware? it uh, digital? Yes, 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 digital. Okay, this, we don't even have Puss in Boots here. Are you sure it's not for Reading 14? Because this is a, we're in Reading, but a uh, theater of this, uh, this name, uh, Movie Dates. Ah, uh, okay, I'm sorry. So you, I'm sorry, you don't have, uh, you, you don't, don't have, have we're discount playing? theater. We don't have that movie right now. You might be trying to contact um, the theater across town. I can give you their number. They have Puss in Boots. Yes, please. Okay, their number is uh, 223 7755. And it's area code 530. 223 7755? Uh huh, area code 530. Okay, that sounds good. I'll go ahead and give them a call because okay. someone's going to get litigated on tonight. Right, I can, I don't, yeah, if I, I don't even have, I've only got one digital projector here and we're showing uh, Lion King 3D on that okay. one. Okie doke. Okay, well, you, thank you for calling. Right. Well, you can hang up now. I'm done with you. I'm sorry, what was your name? Mr. Bossell. Hi, Mr. Bossell. This is Jonathan. I'm calling from the MPAA. That's the Motion Picture Association of America. Okay. And uh, I, I've got a fax here from our legal team uh, probably about five minutes ago stating that the digital copy of Puss in Boots that's playing in your theater is a pirated copy. 
Really? Yes. Yes. I uh, unfortunately this just came to my attention about five minutes ago. But uh, about how many showings would you estimate that you've 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 uh, uh, had on that piece of a uh, piece of film in the last I'd say 72 hours? On the last 72 hours? Yes. Let's see. Uh... Six to eight showings of it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Um, so that does meet the criteria for litigation. Okay. Well, in, in the uh, interim here, I, I'm I'm going to have our legal team contact your off your main office there in the morning. But in the interim, um, I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and pull that that a theater from a, a full a pull that movie from your theater um, until we can get this matter you know resolved. Okay. I'm just curious how it could be uh, pirated. It's the same copy that you know we use. That we've been using. It's right, right. The actual, the copy that was sent out to your theater. We have uh, reports here. Uh, apparently, there's there's a digital watermark, and we have random screeners that will go to movie theaters, and they have special 3D. Well, I shouldn't say 3D. It's they, their IR glasses that pick up on the watermark right, right. embedded so digitally the... in that film, and no one saw said watermark and said film and said theater. And that wow. creates a said problem. So yes, both. I mean, you know, legally speaking, your your theater is liable for all the ticket sales there. Um, it's 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 as though someone went to Blockbuster, took a movie, and showed it to thousands of people. I'm sure you can understand right. the right. issue there. Well, so yeah, I, it, I, I, are you in the middle of screening that movie at the moment illegally? I might add. Uh, let me check. Thank you. Well, yeah, it started about seven minutes ago. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm glad I was able to catch it in time. The previews probably haven't started. If, if no, you can... The actual can, movie started about seven minutes ago. Previews oh, have already gone through. Okay. So it would be 7% probably... Yeah, you're, you'd be probably 7% liable for that for that viewing. Okay. Um, I'm going to need you to go ahead and just go ahead and and, sh and uh, shut that off. Um, you're going to need to refund the people, you know, ticket prices uh, that are there. And get them out of the theater. You you, you you might want to put up a different movie at the moment, but at the moment that that copy of Puss in Boots cannot be played at, at your theater. All right. Uh, what theater is it in? Which one? And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and have a. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have our lawyers contact you tomorrow. Uh, the head. You know, I'm I am uh, I'm I'm an on call. Um, you know employee of the MPAA, so I'm, I am going to have an actual, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have my head office interface with your head office in regards to what's, uh, you are the Cinemark uh, Movies 10 in Reading, correct? Movies 14, but yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so, can I get your full name again? Absolutely, yes. My name is uh, Jonathan, and, and my last name is Gerbil. That's Golf, Echo, Romeo, Bravo, Indigo, Lima, Echo. Sorry, Golf, Echo, Bravo. Golf, Echo, Romeo. Romeo Bra Golf, Echo, Romeo, Bravo, Indigo, Lima, Echo. All right. And would you like my callback number? Definitely. My, my callback number is area code first, 904. Okay. 317. All right, and I'll go up and uh, cancel that showing. That would be appreciated. Yeah, I'll I'll I go guess. ahead and uh, do a, I'll go ahead and do a follow up call with you probably in the next ten minutes to confirm said showing has been canceled, and uh, then I will have our uh, uh, like I said I'll have our uh, corporate office in, um, interface with with your management team there to see how we can go about resolving this without the need for further further litigation. So I appreciate right. your cooperation. Right. The MPAA thanks you, and you have a great night. You too. Bye. Take care. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to turn it off right away? Did he say? Yeah, yes? that, that's what he said. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. Back, like, just, hey, uh, I got the best idea. No, nothing could beat that because he just got a movie canceled. He's going to cancel the show. Right. 
he's going to cancel the showing and refund everyone's ticket. The price <laughs> for, for, for no reason. Let's call him back like five minutes from now. And and just tell them we were pranksters. And no, we have to tell them, tell them, tell them, lol. Just kidding. It's a still for it. <laughs> no, you call them after. You call them fifteen minutes after the movie starts. No, okay. They're gonna stop in, the protection in of it. five minutes. A uh, Brad should call him back and say that we made a mistake and it was actually a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, hang on. I got an idea. Just, just go along with this. Oh, you do Kyle. that, Mister. <laughs> Star six up. Read the touch tone genius. No, oh, the touch tone genius is the shit. I think the MPAA has a lot of clout. Oh, it, it's pronounced, oh, they pronounce it M P double A. Hey, go ahead and call this performance. You do the next one then, Holiday. I can't. My mommy's here. I'll she will do. yell at me. I'll do it. Somebody please call Which, which I sound movie was canceled? Which movie was canceled? Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Okay. What else is playing? Is that is that an is that an erotic thriller? What else, what else is playing in that theater? <laughs> I don't know. You have to look. Yo, what I, is it? Man, you <laughs> uh -oh. Here, here's the theater's information. Okay. Here, somebody call this number right quick. Just call it. Oh, they're playing Seabound on a uh, last dot FM on my little station. Cool. No hurry. Hey, uh, hey. Call, call, call in. Okay. They have. Okay, look. What you do is you call a hot walk and you order, and then you call the other hot walk. Okay, what they have <laughs> <laughs> is Arthur Christmas. Yeah, you I go. have it. I have it here. The just, Muppet. Oh, okay. I'll, I, I just need to call it. I've never heard of any of those movies except the Muppets. Oh. The Jack Muppets. Jill, I, oh. about, I wonder, that if, I wonder if my pirate cancel, site has cancel, already. Hey, cancel Twilight. I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna cancel cancel Twilight. Oh, I, yes, that I would be Twilight. Great. Okay. Um what is the phone number I need to call right now? Well, do you want to call the same theater back or a different theater? Yeah, yes. The same one, the same one. <laughs> I just posted the URL in Google. <laughs> Uh, or into into I posted the Google search thing and uh, wait it'll, it'll give you their address and okay. and the, it, it's the and Cinemark. Just, just here you go. Reading Port. This asbestos name was no, Jonathan. This is it. I'm not sure I take it, but it, his name was Jonathan. I want him to know with a joke. So yeah, yeah. So like, hopefully he's canceled it by now, and just be like, you're a fucking idiot. If we could talk. One second, Ah uh, yes, hi. Uh, my associate just called. Hello. Well, guess not. I wonder if I really got that uh, 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 that movie. Fourteen. My name is Aaron. How can I help you? Hi, Aaron. Uh, my name is Dave. I'm calling from the MPAA. My associate just called. I guess yes. had you cancel push in puss in boots. Yes. Uh, that was incorrect. The, the the correct one, uh, the the issue with the movie that went out, the correct one is the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn. It appears you got a pirated one with Swedish subs. Okay, let me uh, let me stop them then because they're just about to do that. Yeah, all right, you you better stop them because you know those are. It's also Swedish subs. Do you know what a sub is? We should have given it more time. Well, may hang on. Maybe, it'll, maybe well, it'll... hang on. We're gonna stop Twilight from ever running. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know that the first one got stopped. Yeah. It didn't. Well, it... He said he was just doing it. No, he said they're getting ready to, and he's gonna go stop. What was the eight one whatever number? The eight one three. Okay, I just radioed them. Uh, he says that uh, before he stops that uh, Twilight showing, he would like to speak to you. All right, that's fine. Yeah, the Puss in Boots was the wrong one. It's the it's the Twilight Saga. All right. It'll just be one moment when I... Uh, All right, uh, am I, am I going to speak, be speaking with the uh, projectionist? Uh, no, I am the box office uh, person at the moment. The box office person. Uh, my manager will be down here in just one moment to speak okay, to you. Okay, well, can you hurry up? Hello? Hello? 
will be your own hold, silly. God, I I can't believe they were willing to, to cancel Puss in Boots, but not Twilight. That's so prejudiced. It's like, screw the kids, but not the goths. Not the 40-year-old women. Who's the 813 number? Mr. Bossell speaking. Uh, yeah, hi. I got transferred to you. My name is Dave. Yes, yes. I'm calling from the MPAA. Apparently, this is I, Dave? See it? Yes. Apparently, my... Uh, can I get your last name? Earlier. I'm sorry? Uh, your name is Dave. Can I get the last name? Smith? Smith? That's correct. S-M-Y-T-H. All right. Now, I understand he told you that Puss in Boots was uh, pirated. That was incorrect. It's the okay. actual copy. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. Right. It's the actual copy of uh, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn that's the issue. Twilight has been... Uh... I'm sorry. So Twilight is Twilight is the uh, the screwed up copy. The uh, yeah, that's that's the issue. What there is pirated is, copy. It, it's it's a pirated copy that actually left our studios, and it was uh, tampered with. Now, what I mean by tampered with is uh, every so often throughout the movie, you can see male genitalia briefly flash by. Wow. Uh... All right, I have not heard anything about that. Uh, well, we've gotten multiple reports so, for your theater, and we will, will trace it back. So, uh, all right, it's, what there uh, is, uh, it, is it, it flashes it, for about two seconds. It just flashes male genitalia, like fully, you know, engorged, as it were. Yeah. And you know, we we obviously can't have the children seeing that. Obviously. Now, uh, this is every showing of Twilight that we have. Uh, no, no, that's only in the one theater. Uh, there, how many theaters do you have there? We have 14 theaters. 14 theaters. Okay, it appears it's the 1.20 p.m. show and the 4 or 5 p.m. show that I've gotten reports on. I don't know about the others, but I'm not sure if those are even the same theater. So those are just the ones I, I know about. All right, one second, let me check what theater that's in real quick. Uh, 120 and 405? That's correct. Alright, that's in our theater 5, and that show is... It's in the middle of the show right now. Great. Wonderful. I would recommend you stop that and uh, immediately give them refunds um, until we can get you a non-tampered with copy. Alrighty. Um, and is your extent, or is your number the same as Jonathan Jabios? Uh, yes, I'm just at a different extension, but he can he can transfer me. I, I'm just I just want to make sure I have everybody's number and information. Yeah, we're it's 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 the same number. It's a corporate number. So if you just if you, whoever you get, you know, just ask for for Dave Smith or Smith. It's just for whatever reason, Grandpa changed it when he came across, so it dropped the the whole weird. I don't know. But anyway. Okay, and you're going to contact our corporate office uh, tomorrow morning? Uh, what I'm going to be doing is arranging to get a fresh, untampered with copy out to you, but you can't show it until then. I do apologize for that. All right. Our legal I gotta team see if... Also, our legal team will also be contacting your manager to discuss, you know, how to deal with the, the breach, as it were. So yeah. we, we'll, we'll be doing that. All righty. Well, thank you. All right. Well, get that shut down right away, and uh, we'll be talking to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Excellent. Wow, I can't believe you believed that. You you were so unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe you, I can't believe he's shutting down the Twilight Saga breaking. Call, call him back in ten minutes to Paramount Pictures and ask if the, it was shut down because we're liable to. Yeah, no, call, well, call not drunk and forever because the managers. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, David Smith, I, it, and then it turned like, to David Smite. 
Yeah, like it's so awesome. It's so awesome that like you're so like like not together. It's fucking hilarious. It's that this dude's just eating the shit sandwich. He's so stupid. <laughs> like like if 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 this is all like recorded, this, there's like no way he can ever save place value on that. Thinking this guy was a legitimate dude. Well, geez. hey, I played it <laughs> off legit. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Spessa had it. No. I don't know. Hey, hurry the fuck up. Find okay. the left track, Matt. Yes, sir. Yeah. Somebody You're else welcome. is going to have to take it, though, just to verify it, so maybe RBCP. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll take it, or, or, or uh, if no, RBCP... You, you, you already talked to him, I already talked to him, so it's got to be like RBCP, Holiday... I wouldn't recommend Laugh Track, Matt. No, no offense, yeah. Laugh Track. I love you. Yeah, no, no, no offense hey, so who's taking that, dude. Who do I say I am? I'm getting a beer. Your name is is Roy from the MPAA. Hi, thank you for calling Cinema 14. This is Swung. How may I help you? Hi, is the manager there? Yes, you're speaking with one. Oh, hi, this is um, Roy from the corporate office. Hi. We, we were just contacted by the... R-I-A-A, or the, and uh, about a movie that was playing there? Did, did that get shut down? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, hold on. I believe another... I'm going to get you the one, the, man, the manager who knows the full story of what's going on with well, that the, theater. Okay? Know, was, was the movie shut down? That's the important part. We paused it. You paused? Like, yeah. So is it paused right now? Yes. Um, have you informed the crowd about the problem? Yes. Yes, we have. We got. We cleared the crowd. They're all out in the lobby. They're oh, out of the theater. Could, could I speak with one of the people in the crowd? We need, we need to uh, interview them. Could, yeah, hold on, please. Okay. You're from the MPAA, not the corporate office, you big silly guy. No, it works. It's funny. Oh, yeah, it, it works. But I didn't think they would believe but, it. But not the RIAA. You can't say RIAA. <laughs> what did I say? Did I say RIAA? No, no, Brad did. Okay, sh- Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. Don't ruin this for Brad. This is a big moment for him. <laughs> My, this is Mr. Bossell speaking. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Paul from the corporate office. Uh, How's Paul- it going, Paul? Oh, not too bad. Um, uh, we, we needed to uh, interview one of the guests at the theater in the lobby that, that had seen the movie. Uh, you were what? We need to do a quick survey with one of the guests that are in the lobby that was seeing Twilight. Okay. I have a huge line of them. Oh, okay. Could I speak with just uh, they, oh. they saw about half of the movie. I see. If I could just speak to one of the customers, just uh, one at random. One be... at random? Mm-hmm. And a uh, name, uh, full name? Whose name? What was that? Oh, I just needed to talk to one of the customers there. Yes, may I get your full name? Oh, sure. It's uh, Roy Peterson. What is it? Roy Peterson. Roy Peterson? I thought you said it was Paul. Paul Roy. And, uh... Yeah, so just uh, put put a customer on the phone with me right now, and I'm going to do a quick survey with them. All right, I'm going to put you on hold. We have to do that before the customers all leave. Yeah, yes, I understand. I, I just need to get a customer. Okay. Thank you. I'm doing horrible. Yeah, you hi. Are you big? <laughs> Great to talk. Say it's a legal requirement imposed on, upon us by the MPAA, Mr. Spessa. I just want to let him know it's a prank. Well, I want to tell the customer. I think he's slowly figuring that out right now. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I want to have a customer inform him that it's a prank. I thought your name was Paul. Yeah. Paul Roy. <laughs> Always forget my name. Uh, it's okay, Brad. I forgive you. I'm really old. You're, You're not really Roy. old. P. Roy. You just have low self-confidence. You're actually really young. A lot of people don't use their own their first names. You're just P. Roy. It's like P. Diddy, but P. Roy. All right, P. Roy. <laughs> Like old, old, old man. It's gonna blow my mind if you actually get to speak to a customer. <laughs> after what are you gonna say to her? You still there? Yes, I am. All right, here's a random customer. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Justin. How can I help you? Oh, hello, Justin. Is are um, which movie were you in there to see? Uh, 
Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. Okay, and uh, what city did you live in? Uh, Redding, California. Okay, um, my name is Kevin Mitnick. I'm a famous hacker, and we're just we're demonstrating how easy it is to trick companies. <laughs> We made them shut off the movie. Into doing it, into doing things. And we tricked the theater into shutting off the movie. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. And we want you to tell the manager on the he phone. He tells that, but he's never going to believe you, that's the thing. Tell the manager right now, we want to hear his reaction. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, I know who you are. This is, this is, Okay. You know who we are. Who are we? <laughs> Sir, um... He knows me, Kev. Shush! Oh, shit. This is, uh... Apparently you've been duped into actually shutting down the movie. This is Kevin Mendick on the phone. Apparently, same phone hacker. <laughs> uh, man who claims to be Kevin Mendick. Oh M-I-T-N-I-C-K. Oh, At least that's who he says. <sighs> yes, it's, it's Kevin Mitnick, and it's also Lloyd Blankenship. I'm Lloyd Blankenship. Uh, would you like to speak with him, or I'm are Lloyd we done? Blankenship. I'm, I, yeah, I can talk. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm Catch a Crunch. Let's let's and my, na- and my name's Acid hello? Burn. Yes, hello. Is this a manager? Yes, it is. Yeah, hi. My name's Lloyd Blankenship. I have Kevin Mitnick. And uh, Acid Burn, Captain and Zero Cool, Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch Captain and Zero, Zero Cool on the line. And we just made you shut down a movie. Isn't that Why? funny? T. Isn't that hilarious? We're pranksters. We're elite hacksaws. We hacksawed your brain. Lol. So, sir, you need to turn the movie back on, is what we're saying. You just pissed off a bunch <laughs> of customers. I hope you feel good. Uh, you you stupid. jerk. You do. Oh, Count Zero! Count Zero just walked in. Hurry up. <laughs> Hello. We're Hello. sorry. Hey, do you remember that one time? I remember that one that, time. That we, we almost started World War Three. <laughs> <laughs>